I'm Abby at Stitch in Heaven, and I'm here today to share with you a fun quilt, and we call it the Superstar T-Shirt Quilt. I know many of you out there have T-shirts, a huge collection that you want to make a quilt out of. Um, so today I want to teach you a technique of how to prepare your T-shirts to sew into this quilt. Uh, we do have the pattern available for this quilt here in the store. Again, it's called the Superstar T-Shirt Quilt. We also have a, a fairly new kit to the store. It, we call this the Superstar T-Shirt Quilt Kit. Uh, it is, I want to show you what's inside here. It has the things you need to prepare your t-shirts for the quilts plus the pattern. So this is add your own fabrics, add your own t-shirt. This is just the parts and pieces, kind of the notions that you need to, um, uh, to make this quilt. So here we've got the pattern, packaged nice and pretty for you. And in here we have the June Taylor uh, pressing cloth, which I will demonstrate how to use here in a second. And then we have the uh, stability fusible interfacing, which is essential when you're making a t-shirt quilt uh, because t-shirts are stretchy. And so when you try to sew them into a quilt, especially as we've done here where we've used regular cotton fabric and then we're trying to use it with the stretchy t-shirt fabric, um, it just doesn't work very well. And so we need to stabilize that t-shirt um, so that it doesn't stretch anymore. So the first thing that we are going to do to prepare this shirt is we need to cut off the sleeves and the neck. I'm going to set these things aside for a moment. And you're going to want a large ruler. Here I have an 18 inch ruler, um, a 15 and a half inch Creative Grids Ruler would work as well. Um, I think the pattern calls for yeah, a 15 inch uh, square that we're gonna cut out of this. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna separate the front from the back. So I'm just gonna kind of willy nilly use my rotary cutter and just kind of cut around the sleeves. Oops, didn't quite get all the way through. And across the shoulders. And then I'm going to cut around, here, pull this down so you can see better. I'm going to cut around the neck. Throw that away. Like so. Okay, so this is all trash. Oops, I'm still connected. There we go. Okay, so now I can pull apart the front side. Oh, I still need to go up that side. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. We don't need a straight edge. We're just trying to get the front separate from the back. I think we finally got it. There we go. Alright, so we want to lay that out flat. And I've marked on my ruler here with some blue tape, I've marked my 15 inch line. The pattern calls for a 15 inch square. This does not have to be exact because we're actually gonna be trimming it down to 13 and a half inches later. Um, but just to get us started, we're gonna start with a 15 inch square. So I'm ta I taped this off so that I could see where my 15 inch line is to help me center the motif in the center of the square. So I'm just kind of eyeballing with my grid lines here. And if you're overhanging here on the neckline just a slight bit, that's okay. Like I said, we're actually gonna trim this down even smaller a little bit later. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm happy. Okay. And I'm going to take this whole thing. Rotate it around so I can get the other side. If you happen to have a 15 and a half inch square ruler, that would save you a step of having to rotate this. But this is what I have on hand today, so we're just going to go with it. Okay. All right. So now I've got my t shirt prepared in a square. So the next thing that you need is a piece of the interfacing cut at the same size. So I've already done that. I've got a 15 inch square of interfacing prepped here. And we're gonna take this over here to the ironing board. All right, so I've got my fusible interfacing now here at the mat. Uh, we wanna make sure that we are laying this out uh, fusible side up. So when you feel this, you're gonna feel kind of a smooth side and then a nubby side. So we want the nubby side to be face up and I'm going to lay out my t-shirt right side up. That way I can make sure that this gets nice and smoothed out around the motif. So this is why we need this pressing cloth. This makes it so when we put the iron on this graphic here that this is not gonna melt all over our iron and ruin our shirt. So I'm just going to take that pressing cloth and lay it over. And this is the pressing cloth is also going to protect the iron from any, like if this fusible here is kind of hanging out, it's going to protect it from that as well. All right, so I'm using a fairly hot heat and steam. And I'm just going to press that out, making sure that I get all the way to the edges. That should do it. So I can see as I peel off the cloth here, I have no adhesive stuck anywhere and my graphic is nice and neat. All right, now that we've got the fusible interfacing on the back of this quilt or the back of this t-shirt, it is nice and sturdy. It's not gonna stretch anymore on us and it's ready to be trimmed to its final size. So for this pattern, we need a 13 and a half inch square. So I've moved my tape on my square. And again, I'm going to use that tape as a guideline to help me center up the motif. And this is where we wanna be a little more careful about centering so that the final project is nice and square. So I think I'm pretty happy with that there. Maybe over just a hair. Okay. Okay, so got that off there. Flip it around. And then I can use that tape right here in the corner to line back up right where I was before. Okay. And there we have it. We have got a t-shirt ready to be put into a quilt. All right, now that we've got our uh, t-shirt all prepped and ready to go. Um, it's ready to go on this quilt. It's not stretchy anymore. It's square, um, ready to be sewn into your quilt. You will need seven t-shirts for this quilt, and then you will need to choose four fabrics. So you're gonna have a, uh, so in this quilt, our, the colors we chose were this blue, gray, white, and then we chose an accent uh, for the binding to complement the school colors here in, in Quitman, Texas. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please uh, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time.